Welcome back to the world of Dredge, where creepy, crawly, nasty things deep inside of oceanic pits want to eat your kidneys. Woo. Today we have something interesting happening. The twisted strand up here is our... What's the word? Target. Because I have heard rumors of gigantic rare fish. Also, some relics. Uh, there should be a ring up there. Or maybe a necklace as well. And I really feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, so this might be a longer episode. And then there's this guy just hanging out here. Is this the one who was dead? Oh, fisherman, feed. <gasps> okay, uh, this is the guy. Oh, he wants that. I don't even know what a tarpon is. That's like a real life fish. Okay, I mean, I'll try. We gotta remember where you're at. Okay, on this little island. It's time to find a tarpon. And it's time to thank Everlegion for sponsoring this video. I bet you'll love Everlegion because it's an amazing 3D collecting idol RPG with more than 100 unique heroes to collect in seven different factions and it's totally free to play. The game really stands out as its models are really well designed and the art style is amazing. And the developers are constantly adding new content so you can always find fun new things to do. And the game is perfectly balanced around casual fun with RPG progression so you can open it anytime and play it whether you're watching TV, taking a break, or stuck in some unskippable YouTube app. And the best thing is, once you complete the tutorial, you'll get 25 free summons. And speaking of summons, check out my amazing pull. Is this Garzak? Oh yes, it is. He's one of my favorite power type heroes. My favorite hero is Seltchar, a shadow warrior. He's got a really cool purple horrifying halberd and can do a ton of damage with his unique skills. And don't miss out on the new event called the Dragon Abyss. Go earn your epic new dragon egg by defeating the new boss. He's awesome because his name is Pilferer's Blitz. And he also has some great rewards once you defeat him. So what are you waiting for? Click on that link down below in the video description or scan the QR code to download Ever Legion today. Use my exclusive gift code ELBLITZ to get heroes and more, but only only for the first 100 players. So first come, first serve. We have to feed that guy in fast speed because the last time we tried feeding him, he died. Ooh. Wasn't a very good feeding. And also, ooh, I don't know what this is. I don't think I've caught these before. This is probably not a tarpon though. A gray mullet. <laughs> mullet. Like redneck wearing a mullet. Obviously one of the best hair choices of the 20th and 21st centuries. This area is kind of creepy though. I don't like it very much. That's also a mullet. Where should I dock for the night? Uh, at the rickety pontoon, of course. Could these be what I'm looking for? Oh yeah, here we go. All right, tarpon. Also in the last video, we totally found a uh, big goliath grouper. So I should be able to tell you about the rare fish. Yeah, the gulper eel. Good news. Oh, nice. Here you go, creepy shadow figure. Don't die on me. Feed the mouth hole. All right, you can have it. Okay, uh-huh. Fish collapses in itself under the pressure. Gory mess and picks out the heart. Yeah, I knew it. You're gonna eat that. And then what is that? A horseshoe crab. Okay, so I have to catch crabby boys. So I'll jump back into here, go visit my storage, bring out some of these. Needs repair, needs repair. All right, let's just uh, put these back in the cargo. We'll go to the shipyard where we will repair them all, leave the dock, and drop some of these out. There's only a few. Oh, there we go. Plenty. And I don't know what kind of fish I'm going to catch here. What is this? That oh, must be more tarpon. Should I bring some inside too? Okay, nine meters. I don't know. What is that thing? What is this place? We'll put one in here too. Um, That looks like a giant fish trap. Hello there, weird mushroom person. Oh, there's something there too. I swear I'm not here right now. It's after me. It's after me. It's after me. Hey, dingus, ding, ugly dingus fish. Come inside of this thing in the middle. It'll catch you, I promise. <laughs> Just drop that off because I'm scared of it. All right, switch over. Let's do this. Haste mode. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. I want you to be caught inside of this thing, you big ugly creature. Cut across. My goodness, it's fast. I really don't like it. I'm gonna leave here now, thank you. Oh, balls, my lights just went out. Don't like that, don't like that, don't like that. I don't know what that thing is. And I don't really think that I wanna test it out. Okay, let's see this. Oh, nice, big crab, giant mud crab. I wasn't expecting to catch one of those so quickly. Also, I don't know what this is, but there's some sort of aberration here. Is this like a gar? Might be. I think that big creepy thing might be after me too. Oh no, it's not here. Oh, that was the aberration. Okay. I didn't realize I already caught it. I was too scared of the big creepy thing in the water. And another giant muddy crab. Great. Should have room for it right about there. And then there's something here on the shore. Hmm, what are you? 
Really? I want to drive through it. Didn't work. Ooh, that thing is uh, $116. Nice. Hey, there we go. There's that horseshoe crab. Hello, creepy thing of death. Would you like a horseshoe crab heart? Here you go. Turns a crab over, exposes a soft underbelly and scoops its innards out with fingernails consuming them blindly. Ugh. Oh, and that must be a barrel eye. Abyssal fish, interesting. Okay. I don't think I've seen those yet. Barrel eye, if I remember right, those are like a nighttime fish, like in real life. So possibly this could be some? Uh, this is more of those gulpers, right? Mullet. Please don't. Get banished and junk. We're going fishing for weird barrel eyed fish. Could this be a barrel eye? Possibly. This is another mullet, isn't it? Yep. Uh oh. I ran out of spooky juice. Anti spooky juice. Ooh, and a trophy. Got it. Yes. We got the trophy gray mullet and this in entwined mullet, which is nasty looking. Still can't find a stupid barrel eye though. I have no idea where that would be. But I got another horseshoe crab. Woo! And I bet this is gonna be another stupid mud crab. Yep. All right, we'll put it here, switch that over. Hello? Okay, big creep. Oh, there it is. Hey, ugly. Come in here. Come here, come here. Does that catch it? Nope. Oh, that's too bad. Okay, might have found it. Might have found it. Barrel eye. Okay, there's also a thing here. Oh, wow, that's not good. That's gonna hurt. Did it hurt? I don't think it did. Oh, my twin prop engine was destroyed. Okay, so you know what? Uh, let's just uh, manifest our way back. Oh, there's just another thing here though. That might have just spawned on me, which is weird. Barrel eyes. Oh, we got a gold one coming up. I'll catch that gold one. All right, uh, I can catch another one now. That wasn't a gold one I caught. What is happening here? That was a trophy. Okay, we, we have to teleport away out of here. It's midnight. It's super creepy outside. I should be able to sleep right here. My engine is broken. Oh, balls! No, my bottomless lines are disabled. I'm falling all sorts of apart right now. Sleep, please. I limped my way back to the shipwright. Okay, we're back here. Let's sell some of these. I'm just gonna tap on a few of these. I really wanna sell this one too. Man, a trophy, $54. Get rid of that. I just need one barrel eye. I don't want to sell a lot of them, just one of them. Okay, cool. Is it still fresh? It's stale. That's gross. I wonder how much more money that would have been worth if I didn't have to sleep through the night. Anyway, shipwright, we got a repair for $60. And now I need to go back straight west. That looks like a new type of fish right there, too. That might have been another barrel eye, actually. Hopefully this man doesn't starve to death again because, well, I brought it in. It's a couple days late. It's a little bit stale, but he's still alive. The final scroll. Here you go. Here's your weird barrel eye fish. Consume it head first, gnashing the teeth, searching for the heart of the thing. Fish is halfway gone. They throw it aside. Take a book from inside. Ooh, a book. Nice. Push in the engines. Sky will fall. Cross their arms and appear to fall in a deep sleep. Creepy. But at least I can read a new book. I'm guessing that uh, increases my engine speed. It's kind of crazy in this game, too. I've been playing for like 20 minutes so far for this recording, and I felt like I've done pretty much nothing. So let's change that. Let's head way into here. If I can make it into there without that big thing trying to attack me. I don't even know what that point is yet. And I'm guessing these are no longer good. Oh, there are. Okay. Gonna be real honest. I don't like the crab pot mechanic of this game. I just don't. Oh, I also don't like that mechanic of the game. I don't like him at all. I wish I could use this giant trap that is definitely meant for him to catch him. Also, what is that? Why are there black waves out here? Did you see those? Oh, it's abyssal. Nice. Yeah, I got another one of the creepy tendrilled ones. Okay, now it's time to go to Spooky Town. Hello, spooky thing. There are weird things out here. Oh, hello. Look like treasure of some sort. What is that? Thought I saw a blue, oh, no, why is he after me? Done literally nothing, dude. What is this place? What is this place? Oh, this is the land of the crashed airplanes, that's right. Oh, a large man watching you through the billowing smoke of a campfire. Hardly carving at his wooden stake, he stands to pull you ashore. From that look on your face, you've been encountered. The local wretches take a seat. To join him by the fire, been trying to rid them the cursed jungle since we wrecked here. The boys call them mind suckers on account, well, affecting the mind. They made us see things, do things, and ask to save passage away from here, but not until I've avenged my squadron. 
what happened to them. A number of us went down in the fog, crashing into trees or ditching in the water. Those that survived rallied here, under the boughs of this giant tree. But it offered us scant protection. Before help could arrive, our numbers quickly dwindled, picked off by the fiends of the forest. I met a few would-be rescuers over the year, but none of them would help me in my fight. I will help! Figure to be up for it. Have a take a look. Listen up. First, we need to find lost piece of my squadron's mortar. Then we'll use it to bombard the beast. Other planes went down to the north and the east where we are now. Mark possible crash sites on your map. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. How will you honor your squad mates? Uh, dog tags in the tree behind me. I had one of those. Oops. Yeah, I could add them. I might have sold that. Whoops. Do I have one? I don't. I sold it. <laughs> Whoopsies. All right, undock. Okay, so it did he mark it on the map? He did, to the left and to the right. Ooh, this place is hard to navigate. We're gonna try it though. We It's eight o'clock in the morning. This should be fine. We're gonna dredge up what we can as well. Does that need to be exploded? I bet that does. Oh, it does. I don't have any explosives on me. I should just carry a pack of like 18 of them like I do in real life every day. Let's see if this contains a doggy boy tag. No, broken monocle. Oh, here we are. Alrighty, I will take one of these. Thank you. Question marks added to the cabin. What? Oh, it's another message in a bottle. That's not the thing I was looking for. I'll be real honest, I don't like this zone. It's spooky and scary. Come on, be something cool. I don't know what kind of fish this is, so I'm just gonna catch one. A sergeant fish. I also see where one of the dog tags could possibly be. Please, nope, I don't need that. Oh, balls, why do I always crash? All right, oh, this is gonna be a cannon. Yes, we have to get the mortars, right? Dredge this thing up, oh, mortar barrel. Now, do I want to risk it for the biscuit and go to the other side of the island? The answer is no. I don't, not even a little bit. But I do want to go to the shipyard where they might have an explosive ready for me. And since I have enough money, we're gonna buy refined metal and immediately store it. Cause I've got a teeny tiny feeling that something important is behind this gigantic log and I'm gonna use an explosive on it. There we go. Set the charge, blow it up and it crumbles. I mean, that was straight up massacred away, but I'm gonna grab this thing. Tattered receipt, interesting, okay. Uh-huh, neat. So if I head this way and then take a right, I should come up on the last of the mortar barrel. This doesn't look like the mortar, it looks like more tarpons. Some of you who actually fish for whatever that fish is called are just screaming at me in the comments because I don't know what it's called. Okay, we have the stand of the mortar here, or the cannon, whatever it is. Neato. You're welcome. I also don't know why I'm fishing for this. I really don't want to. I'm guessing that uh, these people aren't gonna like it, and I'm gonna have to do more quests for them. Here we go, airmen. I have both of the things for your part. Okay, now that's a lot. While I work on assembling the motor, you can get started on the next phase. Some contraption lagoons around here. Assemble those traps and the mine suckers just need to lure them in. Once they're in, you can fire on them with our new mortar. Okay, mark the locations. I understood, what's next? Make three special baits. Ah, <sighs> takes three fish, gar and then two mullet. And then a catfish and a mullet. So I need some mullets. And then two those things. Oh, and we got a big old, big old one here. Nice, trophy mullet. Okay, and I'm gonna be stupid and go out here at night. Maybe other types of fish spawn. I saw bubbles over here, I thought I did. Just kind of search this place out. Plus, we need to catch that ore fish, which is rumored to be hiding somewhere in here. Is there one in between this? What could you be? The catfish, maybe? Are the catfish night creatures? Oh, whatever this thing is, we need to catch two of them. All right, long, thin eels. Nasty. And we'll just catch the big one. We'll sell that one. If I can figure out a spot to put it in here. I also found a blistered tarpon, which I had to collect because it's nasty and blistered and gross. Okay, bait for the last one. This one's got the two weird, creepy eels. And he gave me a chum bucket. Bait for the second one, I need one of these. And we need two more for the first one. So far, this zone is actually fairly easy and I kind of like it. It's not nearly as creepy and scary as the volcano one was. 
but that's $200, so we'll take those. Oh, and it does say a three on it, so I know which which is which. Next objective is to find one of those weird catfish. Are you catfish? No, mullet. Will you be catfish? Those are not catfish. Hello, catfish? Nope. I can take gar, though. I could catch gar. I'm just wondering if they're out here or inside. That looks like more of the mullets. Whoa, hold up. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, shoot. Oh, no. That just grew. I don't like that. Stay away. Maybe I need to get in there. Maybe that's where the catfish is hiding. I've been all around this island tonight, and I've not found a single one. So there is an area back here that I just need to explode this, and I did buy another explosive, so... Yes. <laughs> I like blowing things up. Uh, I don't know what this could, oh, it's refined metal. Interesting. I mean, I'll take it. This stuff stupidly expensive.com. Do you like my song? Like, honestly, I've been checking every single node to see what it is, and not one of them is the catfish. Ooh, a dog tag. Neat. And a dude's wedding ring. It's kind of sad. Oh, here we go. Nice. Uh, I found meowers. How did I miss that? Catfish. I can only fit one in. That's okay. That's all I need right now. Oh, unless this is cloth. Is that cloth? It is cloth. Shoot. I need one cloth. Actually, I need two cloth, and I can rearrange things. Yes! So here's the deal. We can use these two now to level up my boat again. Let's purchase the upgrades. Nice. Two additional slots. Plus, there's a lot of things we can slap into here. Like, three of these refined metals? That's stupid expensive. Okay, and a lot of other stuff. I guess we have a little bit of wood? Oh, we have enough wood. Cool. We just need more cloth and uh, two more metals. Four cloth, two metals. Neato. Now, I have not slept in like two days, but I haven't used anything that would turn my um, paranoia up. So I think I should just be able to drift right into here. Also, where's that ore fish at? I really want to know. You see that? Just grew back there again. Airmen, I've got the stuff for you. Here's a dog tag for you. You're gonna have one. Thank you. Oh, you gave me one of these. Neat. All right, baiting traps. I should have everything I need for the balls. One trap, anyway. <laughs> all right, I got my gar. Somehow I got the first one last, but that is fine because I have all of the bait types now. Okay, so this should be fun if I look at this. Cage is suspended over the water. Load the trap with bait. Point, pungent bait. Oh, oh, no. Oh, bottomless lines disabled. Okay. That's fine. It's disabled. Oh, yes! Get trapped, nerd! Oh, that is so cool! Oh! Dang! Oh, yes! That was awesome! Okay, I gotta go do that two more times. I just really want to see if the shipyard has any more Explody Boys in stock, which it do. Also, I'm buying one of these. So if I go in here, I take the first left and then cut across. I should be able to do that. In here, first left and then cut across. I also need to find wherever that ore fish is, but that's usually a deep water fish. I think I've said that like seven times now. Oh, okay. In, in. I knew it. I knew I might need another explodey boy. Well, let's uh, blow this up. Oh, that might be the ore fish right there. Does it, the debris crumbles away? I see it, it looks big. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I'm going for it. Oh, the Goliath tiger fish. Oh, it's huge. Nice. Okay, that was uh, well worth it. Okay, that was the thing I totally needed here too. And it's gonna give me treasure. It's getting late though. So I'm gonna capture that emerald. Why are there so many rings that are just bubbling on the surface, by the way? And that is not the area I thought I was gonna go, but I'm totally glad I went there. I can find my way out of here. So we can tell the uh, traveling person about the Goliath triggerfish we found. Nice, two more gears. And we should be able to sell this thing in the fish market. That's one of the major fish. Oh, 260 money. Yes, sell all the fish. Good. We'll sleep through the night and go kill the last of the mind flayers or whatever they were called. There we go. That's where we put the bait right into this thing. Whoop. Load a trap with bait. Very good. Yes, get in there, buddy. It'll be perfect for your nice bubbling juice. Yeah, popped it like a pimple. That was disgusting. Okay, so if I go north through here and then, wow, that's gonna be hard. 
I was hoping for like more rare fish or some cloth. That's camp, so I cut right behind camp. Okay, there it is. So we have to go this way. Ah, oh, balls. How do I get in there? I'm gonna have to go around on the outside, I guess. Really? Oh, that time it opened for me. That's weird. Game's like, oh, you can proceed. Am I in the right spot now, though? Where do I go? Oh, it's behind me. Okay, I see it in there. Let's just crank a quick 90. I'm gonna drop the dusty divot and uh, trap this thing. There we go. Load it and bait. All right, the third one's about to get destroyed. Oh, yes. Oh, that trap is, it's got snail fingers on its face. I love that. That is so cool. Yes, it's like an inverted bear trap. Still get in the way of the cannons. And here it comes. Yes. All right, that was the third one now. I should be able to go back to the camp and tell them the secrets that I've learned. Probably should turn my lights on too. That might help at nighttime. Not to be all scared and junk. All right, my friends, I've done it. I've raided your world of the weird, creepy creatures. How are things going? I baited the traps. Um, where do I put the bait? I did that. Maybe it takes a minute for them to remember what I did? I mean, I totally don't have the chum buckets anymore. Did I break the quest? Maybe reloading the save file? Really? Oh, I was supposed to bring back proof. Uh, I probably should have looted those. Yeah, nice chunk of flesh. All right, please tell me I only need to bring you one because it's really annoying driving everywhere. I have a creature corpse to show you. You hand him the tattered lump of fresh. It's almost unrecognizable, but you know it couldn't have been belonged to anything else. He pokes at it with a knife, testing its rubbery meat. And he seems satisfied. It's one of the beasts. Progressed at last. More to go though. Ah, oh, I did him already. Okay, I gotta go back. The game should have told me I was incompetent. Be like, hey, doofus, why didn't you pick up the big obliterated chunk of meat before you crashed into that thing? So after crashing two more times, I should find, yes, here it is. Give me the thing my airmen need. Really? All right, I can fit it right there. All right, Mr. Airman, I've got the corpses. You drop it on the, yep. Another one takes care of. Oh, you have more? Yes, I do. I got them all for you. Revealing a glint of metal. Hmm, sickening Terry wrestles it from where it was in a necklace and glittering gore. Hold up. Okay, so that's the one. Well, Fishman, for some fortune at last, fetch you a decent price, a collector. Okay, I'll take that. Um, the corpse of Mel- Are these, like, former people? I suppose, hmm, what will you do now? Can't say for sure, but asking you for an escort. Uh, but it has become somewhat of a home to me. Doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall wait longer. In the meantime, Make a special bait ought to help with your fishing. Oh, huh. okay. Sports may can be used all manner of nearby species. Interesting. Cool. Toss bait overboard to attract local species. Huh. Need some fish. Okay, I have a fish. Oh, let me grind it up. Oh, nice. So he made me another one. Cool. Well, that's cool. I didn't know about that. So there is one more thing left to do, and I'm guessing we can probably just uh, teleport back. That also makes you go super paranoid, but that's fine because we can just directly drop over here, give the collector his sweet necklace, and he'll be like, hey, friend, I have something cool for you. Pursuit resolved. The chains achievement unlocked. Demanding a compensation opens the book, and now atrophy. Instantly harvest an entire shoal of fish. Interesting. Reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search it for there. Marked it on your map. Anything else? Nope. Are you human? Your inquiry met with a piercing gaze. Why, of course, as human as you. Uh, all right. <laughs> Other good news is we have tons of stuff we can use in research. I'm not sure what to do. Like, I don't like using this. I honestly don't. I do have 11 research parts, though, so I can max out my engines. I'd have to buy this one first. I can also get the better rod. I mean, coastal oceanic, this sounds really nice to have. But that does two, because it can do the abyssal plus hadal and then oceanic, which this one just does the two. So I'm going to buy these. And then I wouldn't mind going after the engine if I have enough which I kind of do. So I can remove this and sell that entirely. And then I can take this one and uh, place it over here. Why do I have two of these though? Oh, they're selling two. 
because I just have that. So I can bring this in. And now I should have everything taken care of. Yeah, because this one does the three and then this one does the other four. I just don't have the, the dredge in. I really want to buy this too. So let's sell these. 39 plus 15 is uh 55 ish. Okay, that does 56, so it's a little bit better. Not much, though. That one doesn't even get uninstalled. I can't even... Yeah, it's just going to storage. And then we'll buy this. Oh, okay. I see. And the jet drive is 10, but that's a 16. So let's uninstall that, put it here, and I can just use this thing, put it in here. There we go. I just spent all day. I got to see how fast I am. I love being fast. Ready? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's so much faster. Woohoo! <laughs> yes! I also need to try this out to instantly catch an entire school of fish. Okay, ready? Get set. Catch them all. Oh, nasty! A bloodskin shark. It's infected. We're gonna take it and put it in our pants real quick. Along with this one. I have a feeling that might be common to get infected. But at least I'm supersonic fast, so that's cool. And now sell them all. Okay, that's a really cool skill. A few moments later. So I made it back up to the Gale Cliffs where I think we can finish off a few more quests. I've loaded down my bolt full of packed explosives and you guys have told me that I can drive inside this very waterfall. We've got a couple quests to do, like find more of these stone tablets in here. Also, we can catch some rare fish and deliver a rotting conger eel. And then if we find that last ring, this should be the end of the game. You guys have also told me that I can drive inside of the volcano. Would you not? Okay, he's not following me. What is this? I don't really want to catch these, do I? No, I want to go inside of the, the waterfall, not a volcano. A uh, little scared. A little scared. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a fish in here. I didn't. Is this the ore fish? I didn't realize there was an abyssal fish hiding inside of a cave. Okay, this is awesome. I was told there was a treasure chest in here. Can I not click buttons? Hot dang. The oarfish. Look how long of a boy he is. He's a good long boy. Oh, wow. Okay, there is only one treasure chest. I totally need this, though. A rotten chest sits atop a pile of rubble. Yes, we're looking inside. Ooh, refined metal. That's delicious. And a nice sweet old bag of doubloonies. I kind of would like to make my house in here. It'd be all like, uh, what was that movie from the 90s? 90s? Goonies? Remember that one? So I know this is kind of a waste of dynamite, but I don't care. I just like blowing things up. Use them explosives! Good job. Thank you, game. I'm going to try to use every explosive as I can to try to dredge holes. We need to find the treasure. What is that? Okay, this is a boat down here. Oh, that, those fish just went away, but I should be able to get you. And I'm hoping these are more of those stone tablets. And voila, an opal ring. That's not what I wanted. Also, dark o'clock is set in, but there is some sort of nasty aberration here. So let's try to get one of these. Oh, these are the manta rays. Okay. The devil rays. Uh, isn't that a sports ball team or something? Here, you sit here for a little bit. We got to figure out a better way to store my garbage. The junk in my trunk, if you will. I really just want to catch the aberration and then throw the good one away. That's not... We're gonna put you here. There it is, the withered ray. Neat. You can uh, get discarded. I'll just throw you back. I hear noises. I don't like this. Nope, avoiding you. Avoiding you, I said. I'm avoiding you. You can't touch me. I said you can't touch me, weird, creepy thing. Okay, drift right into dock. Woo! We'll sell my weird fish. There you go. Get sold. Wait, I don't, I don't care about selling that. I can sell the ore fish. Nice. Then I need to tell the traveling merchant that I actually found the ore fish. Great news, everyone. Give me those. What about the other fish? I need the coelacanth. I also need a couple pieces of cloth, but those are hard to find. Now I'm hoping I can find some more dredging spots throughout this cave system. It's a little bit scary through here. There's the big chunky boy. Hello, big chunky boy. There is no dredging spots available in chunky boy's house. Okay, and I'm leaving. I'm leaving, Chunky Boy. Would you for real not right now? Just leave me alone. Pile of loose debris, use explosives. Oh, he bit me. Oh, he blew up an explosive. You jerk. Oh, this is something interesting. I don't know if I've caught one of these yet. Oh, there's the conger eel. Okay, so we need one of these to rot. But the good news is I did find a medium-sized chunk of uh, cloth here. So hopefully I can fit some of these into my inventory. I can't, actually. <laughs> Why, game? So, good news. My conger eel is now rotting. 
I don't know why that's good news, but it does say that I need to deliver an, uh, deliver one to Infill. Yeah, Infill. Also, this is really, really creepy. There's a straight up ghost ship going on out here. I'm guessing that's gonna be like an angler fish or something that wants to eat. Oh, that was creepy. I don't like it. Is Infill right here? My Infill. I will be. Oh, my hull was damaged, but an oceanic perch landed on my deck when I crashed into that thing. So I'm cool with that. As long as the Inkville resident wants my conger eel. Perfect, this will do wonderfully. Can I offer you a small sum and thanks? Oh, 150 bucks. Woo! All right, I was thinking something creepy was gonna happen there because my eyeball is just going all kinds of bad. So if my brain is working properly, I should be able to get a new engine. This one? Yeah, 72 compared to 56, and I think that fits in the same exact location. Let's uninstall that. We'll throw that in my my safe. I can just straight up sell this one, and then we'll, we'll buy this one. Oh, it's expensive. That's okay, though. Install. <laughs> That's so great. Takes forever. And I also want a jet drive engine. We're going to buy one of these and install those, too. Nice. So my speed is now at 103.5 knots. I bet I could... Ooh, those are 20. Wait, hold on. If I had six of those... Plus seven to eight, that'd be 80 knots. So this is faster. <laughs> Can I also buy another bomb? Thank you very much. I have a feeling we'll need some more. Oh yeah, the Oceanic Perch. That's as fresh as you can get. It literally jumped in my boat. So you can have it. Six dollars. Oh yeah, we're going blazing fast now. Okay, so the next mission is to go up to the old Rooney volcanic area. Because that's where I believe the final rare fish is, the coelacanth. And the f stone tablets are in here, too. Whoa! <laughs> that was cool! A giant whaley boy! I want to catch it. Can I catch the whaley boy? Oh, it dove! Oh, that was awesome! Whales are supposed to be extincted. I wonder if they'll come back once we complete the game. I've heard there's like multiple endings to it as well. What's happening here? I don't know what's happening here. I've never seen this before. Ow. But I can dock. There's a campsite. Structure sits on it. Examine it. Old stone structure built around a statue. Statue has his arm raised towards a lighthouse. Okay, can't tell. What do you want to do? Check the campfire. It is unremarkable. Oh, but there's a ragged note. Neat. If that was a new pursuit, that gives me another quest. Nope, it was just a ragged note. Desecrate temple, forgive me. The only way he might understand must help him, must stop him. Creepy, sleepy, leavy. Okay, so there's rumors that the coelacanth are like on this island. Plus there's all sorts of those things that we have to mine up. Oh, you're so fast. You're so fast. But you don't like volcanoes in your life. Go ahead, swim through it. It'll be funny, I promise. And yep, you left. Scared of a little volcano. All right, whatever. You do you, do you boo. I'm gonna swim into here and start catching some of these things. I don't even care what you're gonna do to me. We have stone tablets to find. That's a silver plate. Totally not a stone tablet. And that's also not a stone tablet. But this is an area we can explode. Could that be the coelacanth? Oh, it is, look at that. I'm gonna blow it up. And it's gonna explode. We're gonna catch some extinct fish, my friends. Here. Get roasted. There you go. I'm hoping this works. That thing is huge. The abyssal coelacanth. Oh, that was hard to, that was quick. Okay, two. <laughs> that's awesome looking. Oh, hot dang, that's cool. All right, so that should be the last of that mission. Let's just blow this up because I'm lazy and I don't want to turn around and I have a lot of explosives. Yeah, that's so nice. So I'll just go park my carcass for the night. Tell the traveling merchant that I have found every single one of the rare fish you wanted me to catch. Thank you. That's all of them. Never thought I'd complete the records. Anything else? No, not really. I didn't want to. I just really want you to give me money. That was it? Okay, cool. I mean, you give me money for the fish because it's worth $250. Okay, I don't know where I'm supposed to dredge, so I'm just going to dredge everything. Oh, uh, we're going to get eaten, though. This is going to suck. All right, metal scraps. That's not what I'm looking for. I want stone tablets to finish this quest off. And you're gonna nom on me. The versatile, oh, you damaged it, that's fine. I don't really care. You can damage that all you want to, my dude. Except you uh, also broke my engine. Oh, balls. Please, no, not again. What? 
No way! Thankfully, the game auto saves, and we're back on our adventure with no harm done. Note to self, though, do not try to mine that up because there's bad fish there. But I do want to go into this area because that looks like it could be treasure related. Nope, that's fish. Oh, well, this looks promising. I pretty much have to get in here with explosives, so I'm going to use them. And if the game's putting ex uh, something fun behind explosives, you know it's going to be the treasure that I need, right? Especially shapes in the deep. This could be one of those stone tablets. Also known as like an Alka-Seltzer. Nope, that's just another stone plate because it's bubbling like Alka-Seltzer would. Oh, here we go. I think I found one of the tablets. Come on, tablet. Nailed it. Stone tablet. That means uh, neither of those are going to be stone tablets, and that's wood and metal. I don't need either of them. This could be good. It's going to be another stupid ring or a silver plate again, isn't it? And ta-da! Another ring. Oh, this looks good. This looks like it could be something. It's definitely... Oh, you know what? I'm out of explosives. Dang! Okay, I got to go back. I think that's got to be it there. Where am I on the map? Okay, right up on that rock. So hopefully the shipyard has one explosive. Yes, it do. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast. You know, I swear I've been in this place like six times trying to find it. Been looking for like 30 minutes, mainly because I'm incompetent, but that's fine. Use the explody boys. Light the fuse, door opens slowly. Of course it damaged my hull. I didn't even do anything, but please, yes, yes. That's the third stone tablet. I have no idea where the other, the third one is. Did I turn it in already? I don't know. Got it. But I get to bring it back to the trader at Good Marrow. So instead of doing the dumb and trying to leave this place, let's just teleport out of here. And bloosh. Oh, trader man. I have two stone tablets for you. Hmm. Lays it on the table like the others, judging by the age of the stone. It's part of the same set. I have one more. Yes. Takes it from your place to place alongside the other. Turns them over, arranges them in a square on the side. Oh, casting eerie light. Yes, go on. Begins transcribing the glyphs of old scrap parchment. Each stroke appears to demand excruciating something of word. After a few minutes, puts down the pen and reads the sky mistakes the stars and the air grows thick at night. Deep will open its scars. Protect us, O guiding light. Hmm, I don't know of one O guiding light, but these tablets predate the lighthouse at Greater Murrow by century. I don't like that. Okay. Why don't you take this back? In theory, they should open a lock somewhere. Okay, so that's the lighthouse. Hmm. Any trinkets for me to praise? Yeah, you can have this, bro. Also, I have some here. You want that? Nope. I don't know who wants that. Why am I doing that? I need to sell these. Did I just sell them all? Hey, that worked. Still, uh, not this one. And this one. There we go. Now I'll sell them all again. Cool. Why is the night all colors of red right now? Should I really go sleep? I mean, the sleep station's right here. We're gonna go to sleep. That seems like a better idea. Ooh, apparitions right next to the dock. Yay, new type of fish. That one's ugly. Aw, oh, great. Well, that sucks. <laughs> They're gonna eat me. I can't find a volcano. I can also not go fast enough to escape it. I'm so close. Let me at it. Just gotta push as hard as I can. Big guy's not coming for me. I don't even know where he is. Yes, yes. I broke free. Now, where is that station? Oh, hello there. Am I paranoid enough to touch this right now? No. Okay, we gotta get a little more paranoid then. Oh, but here we go. Here's the thing I wanted to find. It only took me all day. Ancient lighthouse. You climb to the steps of the ancient lighthouse, solid stone door. Can't see a handle, but I can shove this inside of it. <gasps> The fuse tablet clicks into place, the door rumbles. Step inside, yes! You step through the door of the ancient lighthouse, stairway to the top has collapsed as far as you're going to get. Around you are a number of objects. Flame of the sky, that's a light. Oh, I want that. I'm gonna take two hours to install that. So I have like an ancient lighthouse in my inventory now? And then some other goblets. Okay, I gotta see how bright this thing is. Oh, balls, here. You take everything from the room. Ooh, I'm just gonna rest here too, even though I wanted to check out- hold up. Yeah, that's a lob writer. Okay, let's go get paranoid for a little bit. Hello? No, I- oh! Wow, that stuff went away. Alright, I'm cool with that. Also, another apparition. This is a big fish. Hello? I'm gonna catch you, you're gonna be creepy and gross, and I'm gonna not know what to do with the twisted shark. But the good news is, I have everything except the last ring. Hold up though. Is that what this thing is? Jewel-encrusted band? I think it might be. All right, so... 
I mean, we go to the fish market, we sell all the fish, we go back to the shipyard, repair our boat, go to storage, move this over, disconnect from the dock, and then uh, use the teleport. Could that be the last thing? It can't be. And if it is, do we get another mission after this? Or is that the end of the game? Now I had one of them brain thinking moments. And before I bring this ring into here, I had a different idea. Somewhere down, I don't even remember it was, there was the old mayor of the town and he said I needed to talk to the lighthouse keeper one more time. So I figured we could try doing that and see what happened. Maybe there's like alternative endings to this game. I'm not actually sure, but let's go to the dock here and then the lighthouse keeper. What is it? Ah, the silver and crimson book. Yes, okay, I remember that. That's what the old mayor was talking about. She shudders at the very mention of the book. You're really asking me after all this time. You know it must be returned. She looks at you with deep pity. You have to move on for her sake as well as yours. Take control, be rid of that thing once and for all. Okay, where would that book be? Hold on, is that is that the book that the, the collector has? Because he reads out of a book, doesn't he? Zoom! Oh man, my boat's so fast. I love it. Let's see if he's got the book. Man, that used to take forever. Like, he does have a book here. I don't remember what it looks like. Also, why have we never been able to go into the workshop? It's always been locked. Maybe that's DLC stuff. That'd be cool. Okay, I'm gonna conceal the relic. What is it? Tell me about that book of yours. Which book? This one? Because it's 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 crimson and silver. All right, Grinny pulls a dusty tome from the nearest shelf and glances at the cover. There's really not to be said of the history of the Great Isle. You play dumb. You know which book I mean. Your hypocrisy is wearing. I suppose we must go through the rigmarole yet again. The Book of the Deep appears in his hand, sheathed in its dirty crimson jacket. Go ahead and ask. Where'd you get it? Sparking dust motes hang in the air between you. Do you remember? You were there. What? The air around the book begins to pulse rhythmically like a quickening heartbeat. So was she. Who? You wanted to forget. Begged me. What? The room bristles. This is what you asked for. Give me the book. Your words hang in the space between them. You won't change a thing. The book is ours. I'm gonna fight the dude? I'm gonna use him as bait. You're crackling through the room. The corrector lurches forward in response. What can you possibly hope to achieve? I'm gonna take the book. You strike it with your right fist. Punchy, I do it! Yes, his face shatters and what? No! It's a mirror? The book of the deep is in your hands. Understand this plainly before you sink into despair. I know how to bring her back. It's all right there in the pages. And now you've seen the power firsthand. You wield the power to release her from her slumber. Find her last relic and we can undo everything. Undo what you did. Um, so there are two endings. What do I do with the book now? Lighthouse keeper? Maybe? Like I don't have any more pursuits. I also don't have the book. I have the book. You've had it this whole time, have you not? It doesn't matter. Take the most of this window of lunacy. Now's the time to act. Do you still remember what happened in that gloomy darkness beyond the bay? When you are ready, I'll point you the way. Warning, you are entering the final phase of the game. Your progress will not be saved this point forward. Do you wish to continue? Yes. One more time. Okay. You must wait until night is thickest until the ocean is at, well, uh, years ago. All right, so guessing there was a storm and our wife died. I'll point the way, follow my light. Throw it back. Where, oh where? Follow the light. To the greater marrow? Ah, the light. Oh, so the night we crashed at the beginning of the game. I'm going zoomy time. I don't care, there's no paranoia setting in. Have we broken the nightmare? Okay, I made it to where the light is here. Oh, found it. This is the place. Throw it back. The book struggles in your grasp. This weight somehow is shifting from side to side. Silver ribbons flail pathetically against your fingers. Throw it back. You hold it high above your head. A low groan mumbles from the book, echoed by another from the depths. Throw the book back. You throw it into the foaming water. Sploosh. Uh, lights are going out. What's happening? Oh, there's a fish. Oh my goodness. How, what was that? Um, okay. Did that break the curse on the lands? All right then. I 
don't fully understand what just happened. But that was super cool. So... Wow. It makes me want to play more. I hope they come out with, uh, with more stuff to the game. Because this has, like, been an incredible game. Anyway, my friends, thank you so much for watching. I'd also like to thank Everlegion again for sponsoring this video. Make sure you do click on that link down below in the video description to download the game for yourself. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. I'd like to thank all of my patrons and channel members, including Auto Day, Ben, Dickie J, Teddy Epius, Ninja, General Harris, Trent M, Kodino, Zarnoff, Maxer, Ral, VC Engineer, Whip It Good, Sarkarsmorex, Spencer T, Whiskey, Endless, Splatter Sex, Doug Rules, Skunk Chess, Corian, Brad, Dalton C, Sikander D, Grayson, Avora, Monkey, Kyle V, Zane W, Mr. Cripple One, Kodino, Ah, and Fussy Badge 9.